guys, so today I wanted to show you something I made last week. It is my very first stuffed animal. And I wanted to do a little bit of a pattern review. I think the pattern worked out great. It was a 1940s Butterick pattern. And so it was a little bit more difficult to work with as far as um, cutting out the pieces was probably the most difficult part because if you've ever worked with a, a really old pattern, you've got 80 year old tissue paper to try to cut around and then you don't want to pin it so I use like the glass marbles that are flat on one side to hold the pieces down as weights. So now for the details, this is my little stuffed elephant up close. So there were um, a few things I wish I would have done differently. I wish I would have used a thinner um, main fabric here. I used a pair of old jeans and it was really hard to cut two layers on top of each other when I was cutting out the initial pattern pieces and also um, with all of these seams where it got really close um, when I had several seam allowances together it was hard to sew. So like for example here at the tip of the nose I ended up just hand sewing because there's three big old seams here and I just couldn't I had a hard time fitting everything in so I ended up hand sewing that and then I also ended up hand sewing the neck because there's just a lot of bulky fabric in there and I wasn't sure how to do it and then the, for some reason the body here um, came out smaller at the neck than the head came out at the neck. So I ended up doing, let me see if you can, I ended up doing a tuck on either side of the head and also in the back here. Hand sewing besides the neck and the nose, um, I sewed up the back by hand, I sewed up the back by hand, and then I also attached the ears by hand, and then I put a little tack right here to kind of keep the ears in place. And then because the ears have a layer of um, polar fleece actually, it's supposed to be batting, but I just use polar fleece. And because that was just stuffed in there and not sewn in, I did put another tack up here to keep that in place as well. Another thing I would have done differently besides using the denim would be maybe to put some piping around these round areas. They kind of started to pucker. And I did clip, I did clip those seams. I might have clipped them a little closer next time. I might do that. Um, but they still puckered. So I thought, well, it would probably be a nice touch to have some piping around the, the um, hands and then also the feet here. So other than that, I think it turned out really nice. It's cute, it's old fashioned, but it is cute and I like it. And I was really happy with the way the pattern turned out. So like I said, there are a few things I would do differently next time. I want to try making two of the other stuffed animals. So that's all I've got for you today. I will see you guys next time.